Hello everybody, we're going to be learning about lemon batteries, how they work, and how to make one. So, here I have a lemon battery, I have two nails, one is a zinc galvanized nail, one is a copper nail. These are two alligator clips, here's a voltage tester, and here is a light fixture. If you have a LED light, um, that'll work too. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just squish up this lemon a little bit, releasing the pockets of citric acid. Then what we're going to do is insert the nails. Make sure the nails do not touch on the inside of the lemon or else the uh, lemon battery will simply not work because the circuit will not um, function properly. So what we're going to do is we have our lemon battery, but we now need to test our lemon battery and we need to make sure that it is putting out extra electricity. So what you're going to do if you have a light is you're going to take your alligator clip and you're going to put one on each of these nails and then you're going to attach it like so to your light fixture like that. But what I'm going to do, since it doesn't show up in the light, is I'm going to use this voltage tester to figure out. And it'll beep like um, this if there is an electricity. So if I put it against the copper wire, it should light up. And as you can see, it's lighting up like perfect. And so now we have our lemon battery. But how does this work? So. When you insert a zinc galvanized nail, the zinc atom breaks apart into two electrons and one ion. And so what those electrons want to do is come to the zinc uh, copper nail. And so when you close the circuit, you now have a circuit, hence um, circular and moving. Um, and then what the um zinc electrons do is they form up with two electrons form up with two hydrogen ions forming hydrogen gas and then that's how a circuit works and until the electrons run out this battery should work perfectly so that is how an a lemon battery works i hope you learned something and i appreciate you for watching this video thank you